Welcome to another bite-sized episode of Cream Rises Up. Currently, ARM holds the lion's share of the mobile semiconductor market when it comes to licensing and instruction set architecture for use in portable devices and others. ARM doesn't manufacture any chips itself and instead exists as a design and licensing operation. All the major mobile SOC or system on a chip manufacturers including Qualcomm, Samsung, Apple and others license ARM's proprietary instruction set architecture. However, in recent times this British based company is facing a mounting competitions from hardware made with completely free and open source instruction set architecture called RISC V. Now, one of ARM's biggest customers, Qualcomm, has decided to jump into the RISC V bandwagon and involve itself in a joint venture. As of the making of this video, this joint venture doesn't have a name yet, but Qualcomm, NXP, Nordic Semiconductor, Bosch, and memory giant Infineon are all teaming up to form a new company that is, according to Qualcomm, is aimed at advancing the adoption of RISC V globally by enabling next generation hardware development. Risk 5 threat on ARM dominance stems from few reasons. First, it is an open source licensing which potentially lets companies avoid the fees that ARM charges to make any chip compatible with its instruction set. Second is that Risk 5 is also a way for companies to free themselves from ARM's closed source architecture which enable companies to design their own custom made instruction set architecture from the ground up. The third reason that will potentially force companies like Qualcomm and Samsung to look for other avenues is ARM's decision to drastically raise the amount that it charges for its products. ARM's parent company SoftBank is currently is not satisfied with ARM's business model. SoftBank shareholders think that ARM is making way less than it deserves. For a while, it looked like SoftBank was going to sell ARM to Nvidia, but after regulators shut that idea down, SoftBank moved on with plans for an IPO. Or initial public offering. Qualcomm is also facing a lawsuit from ARM because of a licensing fee disagreement related to its acquisition of Nuvia. Besides cost, companies are worried that the political tit-for-tat between China and the US making things difficult. Currently, ARM is operating under the US embargo which blocks Chinese semiconductor companies to buy recent generations of ARM licenses. Trade wars like this is a big turnoffs for big multinational companies. The Risk V Foundation moved to Switzerland in 2019 and a year later rebranded to Risk V International, indicating that it won't be subject to the US political influence. This has caused tech companies in ARM's biggest market, China, to go big on Risk V. Make no mistake, ARM is still the undisputed leader in the mobile SOC and the ecosystem attached to it. Hardware, operating systems, compilers, developer tools, app ecosystems and everything else you need to make a mobile device is built up around the ARM ecosystem. Building an ecosystem like ARM will definitely take a considerable amount of time and effort from different stakeholders. Google's recently revealed desire to push RISC V to a tier 1 architecture is a welcome news for those who are banking on, on the Risk V success. Also, this recently formed joint venture that involves Qualcomm, which is a major chip manufacturer, is very encouraging. However, Risk V is still playing catch up and it would not be wise to expect miracle. 